What's up, Kaijudo Duel Masters? This is Carl Reddish, aka Thunder Sultan, coming at you on Friday, July 12, 2013. Today is the release of the Kaijudo Elite Series Triple Strike deck. Just want to do a box opening of that, along with uh, show you some of the cool stuff that is on the display box for the Elite Series. Uh, a lot of channels have been doing box openings and stuff. Um, I'm just going to cover a lot of the same stuff that they have. They have really good points and stuff. Uh, Prophecy TCG had a lot of good points on it. Same with Earth Power. Um, so let's get right to it. This is the front edge. Uh, it has Tatsurian on it. This is actually part of a cool banner, and I'll show you that in just a second. Side view has an uh, advertisement for Kaijudo Duel Days with the Sprout and the Magris. And I was wondering, I was like, why would they print, you know, two cards that already exist? You know, why wouldn't they give us something new, like the Sarakon that was new to the format and other stuff like that? But this is July and this is August. So by printing these, you print spells, the spells and creatures that people want, but you don't introduce something new to the format uh, that could disrupt it for the championship. You know what I mean? Like, like if this was something and it was really good, maybe it was hard to get, not everybody could get a copy of it, something like that. So by doing these two cards, they kept it very safe. And then, you know, uh, September we get all kinds of new stuff. So uh, I think that was a very smart play on their part doing that for the championship. Back panel has all kinds of cool stuff. You know, Squeaky, Tetsurian, Glurgle. Um, side view, you know, Clash of the Duel Masters, good advertisement for the uh, the multi sieve cards and stuff like that. Very cool. And then when you open this flap, this would normally come with six of them. And then it's got the, uh, the pop-up art, you know, with the, the pop-up stuff, which is really cool. And then this piece right here just comes completely away. And it just becomes becomes this really cool um like essentially like a like a poster or a banner and it's got add some flash to your smash elite series triple strike it's got potato gungla herbal uh this has the wings so it's the evo fury tatsurian and then bat breath scare adorable now if you notice this banner was the exact same banner that is hanging in the uh the store uh of uncle uncle's games in redmond washington uh that's where they spoiled Everything for the Elite Series uh, last month that had uh, Ryan Miller and Brad Singley, which they did a great job on that video. I'll leave a link for it below. Uh, but yeah, like within the first first eight seconds or so, you'll see this in the corner. It's just kind of hidden, but it's really cool that they would make this as a banner and take it with them for that uh, for that video and, and presentation. Along with the uh, the Origami Tatsurians, that was really really cool way to do that. So uh, let's get into the actual triple strike deck you know which has lots of cool edges and really really displayed very very well um, it's got the two peg holes so you can hook it and stuff like that of course the the banner creatures as again um, but these three are actually not in the deck the bat breath the Eva fury and the um, uh, potato plunkla herbal and then what I did find out is if you're having a hard time like opening this thing there is a punch hole right here Check that out. It's kind of neat. We can just rip it from there. So there's your deck. Bunch of Aqua Seneschal. Now, if you if you if you get if you get your Elite Series, careful when you open it. Especially some of these these cards are they're kind of encased in plastic. I mean, this vortex is just covered in it. And watch out for the two little pulling them out. This should be the magnet. Yeah. Magnet Mech, Glurgle. Feral Scaradorble. Love that card. And then the Rampaging Tetsurian. And then there's this thing. Which I really wish they would make these stickers. It would be so cool to be able to like just slap this on your binder, your trade binder, or or the or your like a deck like you bend it, you make put it on a deck box or a storage box. Whatever you want. So wizards, please make this a sticker. <laughs> I think it'd be great. Um, uh, first card, Rampaging Tetsurian. Um, I don't think it's that playable, but it is cool that it's exclusive. We get three exclusive cards to it. Um, from the waist down, he kind of looks like a lizard. He should be, uh, Rampaging Weight Loss Tetsurian, because he looks all skinny. Looks like a, like a Dracon or a Dune Gecko, but it's just, this is perception. He doesn't look all beefy down there, but, uh, it's okay. It's not a bad card. Um... I don't think uh, this one will see tier one play. I don't think this one will either. Uh, Magnet Mech. 
simply because you know it's got to attack and not be blocked otherwise it'd be really good so um and then there's this guy though i think this card does have some playability especially in like a blurple mill deck and the cool thing that I've noticed, well, I, don't, I didn't notice this, but I think someone else pointed out it was either TCG Pro, uh, Prophecy TCG or, or somebody. But Mind Shred says, at the end of each of your turns, if this creature broke a shield that turn, your opponent puts the top card of his or her deck into his or her discard pile. If it's a spell, banish target enemy creature. Otherwise, your opponent chooses and discards a card. It says spell. Um... And the other part doesn't say creature, because as, as of now, we only have creatures and spells as a, as a subtype. So this leaves a lot of space, design space open for something other than a creature or a spell. So I think that's really kind of neat. Just kind of little things that you can find sometimes in the way that they word stuff. Then you get one Tornado Flame. This thing looks amazing. I totally agree with it being in the deck. It's a staple of a lot of decks. Um, Dracon Rush. Um you know mid mid range stuff um soul vortex i totally agree um i don't think this card sees enough play kind of a sleeper rare may actually see a lot more play the more more stuff comes out so let's take a look at the deck um three aqua seneschal totally understand that great stable and blurple other other um other old school decks new school decks great with rasalka stuff like that so uh, Bottle of Wishes, a lot of controversy on that card. Um, by them putting it in, by Wizards putting it in the Elite Series, they definitely show that they like the card. They like the variants that it does. Um, lots of flavor, lots of lots of cool stuff. Um, so I can understand why they put that in there. Crystal Memory, so cool to see a foil Crystal Memory. A great card. It's a tournament staple, uh, especially with all these decks going to 60 cards and such. It's just a great, great way to go find the cards that you need. You get it on a shield blast. You can start your turn with the absolute best card possible for for you. It's just amazing. Floral Guild Manta. Um, I kind of, I kind of wish it was a Frog Zuka. Uh, Frog Zuka is a better answer to Gila Flame. Uh, this doesn't exactly win the war against Gila Flame. I think Frog Zuka would. So that'd be my one change there. Um, free Logo Scan. Just standard and all. You know, all the so many decks. I do wish uh, that all of these cards were single cards. I was hoping that we'd just get 40 separate cards and, you know, lots of stuff that we, lots of other staples. That'd be kind of cool. Um, even commons, uncommons, mainly. Uh, three Refi. You know, if this was a, a dual sieve deck with um, light and water, this would obviously be like a like an Aqua, aqua Strider. And then um, there's a, another, where's the other Bone Blades? Oh, no, wait, where'd you go? Nope. Yeah, right back there. Some of these decks are weird. They're, they kind of they kind of run the cards different. So you'll find some slight variances, but they're all the same number of cards. Two Blend Blades. Um, staple and everything. Great to see that in foil. Three Dream Pirates. Um, I understand why they did Dream Pirate instead of Scaredal Will Gloom Hollow. One, you wouldn't want to put three of the same rare. Granted, we do have two Soul Vortex and two Grip of Despair, but those are newer cards. Um... I think I think the idea between having the two of these is you 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 let a new player experience putting one of these into mana to unlock water and fi uh, wire water and darkness and then be able to play the other one. I think that's the idea behind two of those rares, but not anything else. And you really wouldn't want to make that scare adorable because then then you really make um, opening rise packs not as you know exciting you know because um, there's so many three rise rares in here um what's interesting is there's no evo fury rares in here no evo fury cards period i thought it was actually interesting because this is this is from tbr i think this should have been something else not necessarily like raise a kinder puppet but maybe something else because i think that should have been left in in one tbr because i think it's kind of its cool own little thing i mean it doesn't say first edition or anything like that so uh, Skull Shatter is always cool to see. That tends to be one of the other Darkness Rares that's hard to pull out of three rise, uh, especially along with this guy, uh, Terra Pit. These were starting to creep up in price before the championship. They're starting to creep back down, so it's good to have new players have access to that, especially if they you know want to pay 60 bucks and get a play set of this and memory and everything. Uh, this guy, everybody loves Bull Shack, so I completely understand why they, they put this guy in. Everybody loves the fiery hands and stuff like that. Comet Missile, amazing common. I uh, would have liked to have seen two of this in the deck, just simply to make it easier to get, you know, two foil ones, kind of like they do with Bone Blades, but um, I understand one. It's no big deal. 
Uh, Dragon's Breath, very cool to see in foil, because uh, sometimes this could be added into the Dracon Rush instead of the Barrage, kind of helps out the foil ratio. Um, hyperspeed, uh, we always wanted a foil Hyperspeed ever since we got spoiled, um, you know, before Three Rise came out, so this is very cool to see. Uh, Meteosaur, uh, could I could easily see this being two, and then this being a Comet Missile instead. Um, a lot of people are like, why is this card in here? You know, are we not seeing something that R&D saw? Uh, stuff like that. I, th I think that's true. I think, I think we need to build more decks and see what possibilities are. I mean, this is a great card. Rock Brute makes it kind of hard if it was a different race, maybe. But, you know, uh, I've seen Air Cariola, Blaze Belcher do some really cool stuff with this guy. I mean, you know, getting rid of a 2,000 or less creature, especially something like a Scared Old Gloom Hollow is always good. Um... So we just need to tinker with that, see if, see if uh, you know, R&D knows something we don't. So, uh, Morna Gatling Dragon. I think, I think that's a cool addition, especially now that you have Keeper of Laws, because a lot of players are, are taking away some of the other spells that they would play because they don't want their opponent to draw off a of Keeper of Law. Uh, you know, like Logo Scan or whatever. So this is a great answer to it. You know, if you get to untap with this guy, he's definitely going to start banishing some creatures. Uh, two Rock Bite. Kind of an interesting play. Um, we don't see Rock Bite being played all too much in uh, tournament play, so that that falls under the same thing as Rock Brute. Maybe there's maybe there's something else we're not seeing. Uh, Black Feather Shadow Abyss has got the Ghostly Siphon. Uh, I'm pretty excited to see more and more of the Siphon effects because that's Ghostly Siphon, and then Keeper of Laws also has a Siphon effect, which is obviously a draw mechanic. So hopefully we see that more and more. Uh, two Crypt of Despair, obviously something that's seeing a lot more play in Control. Uh, which is such a good, such a good Shield Blast, man. You can just, you just that is just great. It just puts people back. Uh, Soul Vortex, like I said, should see a lot more play than it does. And then we got a code card. If you want the code, it is right there. And it's got an advertisement for Sprout and Magris for Dual Days. Very cool. You know, I mean, they could have just thrown a three clash, I mean, a, a, a seven clash thing, but they didn't. They made one specifically for this. It's really cool. They did the same thing for Dragon Master Collection Kit. And then you got, this is the usual, the usual learn to play, stuff like that. But it's also a poster slash advertisement, you know, for your Kajudo Dual Days and everything like that. So, uh, that's, that is the Elite Series deck. I definitely want to do a box opening for you guys. And then, um... What I want to do is, for someone who is possibly seeing this first, or sat through it long enough to get to the very, very end, uh, I would like to actually mail this to that person, whether it's uh, America or Europe. I don't care. I'll take care of you. But you got to do something for me. I really, really like um, learning flavor text and exploring flavor text. So I'm going to say a flavor text out loud. Just put it in the description what flavor text it is from what card and uh, I will uh, get your private information and have this mailed to you probably Monday. So uh, flavor text is, and it's in quotes, I knew there was more to squeaky, Ali said. Yeah, way more than I wanted to see, Ray added. So you tell me what card that is from and I'll get your uh, address and mail you these exact cards. I'll sign one of them or two of them or all of them, whatever you want me to do. Uh, if, if you don't want me to sign them, I totally understand that too. And that way you guys can enjoy, uh, or you lucky person can enjoy this just as much as uh, everybody else. So uh, I think the Elite Series is a great thing. Hope to see it again next year. It's a great avenue to get cards out to people, especially for new players. This is wonderful. Don't forget for to leave players. a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, as always, all my shows are blast. Peach.